What's up, fellas? So today we're here to talk about why a woman would want to bring a kid on a date. All right? Now, guys, you know, more than just kids, you know, from time to time you'll see women want to bring a friend, bring a cousin, whatever the fuck it is on a date. Guys, now, it's three reasons why women would want to bring somebody or a kid on a date. So let's just stick to kid, all right? The reason why a woman would want to bring a kid. Guys, this is a shit test. First and foremost, the, the number one reason what this is, this is a fucking shit test. Here's the thing, guys. Women are constantly trying to find out your value, all right? Guys who have high value and have an abundance mindset, guys who have options, they simply don't take no shit off of women, all right? Even some shit like this. Now, she knows you don't want her to bring her kid on a date. And if you go along with it, even though she knows you don't want that, what does that say about your value? What does that say? How desperate are you for a fucking date? That you'll uh, relegate yourself to me bringing my fucking kid on the fucking first date, all right? Or any date, all right? Guys, women are constantly always trying to test your value, trying to shit test you, trying to, they want you to stand up to them. Say fucking no. Let's try some other time when you got a babysitter. If that offends her, who gives a flying fuck? But it more than likely, guys, even if she really did, like, didn't have a babysitter or something like that, and even if she really did need to bring the kid on that, and even if it, it wasn't a shit test, this can only raise her interest, all right? The fact that you took a stand for yourself, that you ain't go for no shit like that, she probably like, God damn. All right, so if she saw you as a seven, I guarantee you instantly right now, you went up a pig, now you're an eight. All right, because you're showing high value characteristics. You're showing that I don't need a date so fucking bad that I'm willing to go on a date with your fucking kid to see you. I don't need to see you that bad. All right, only a desperate motherfucker would go on, go on a date with a woman with a kid or a cousin or some shit like that. We alpha males, man, hey, listen, if you ain't got a babysitter, hey, let's try it next week. The guy who ain't had a date in five years or some shit like that who just desperate or just happy to have a date, oh, he going to take it because he just fucking happy to have a date. All right? So the thing with this is, at that point, guys, she just going to use you for a free day. It's a good chance you probably don't even see her again or some shit like that. She can't even respect you. But, hey, you know, if you're willing to feed me and my kid or whatever the case may be or take me and my kid out, have a good time or whatever, I'll go, and go through with it let you spend your fucking money and that'll be the end of it. All right, guys? So never do no shit like that. This is a fucking shit test. The second reason why, guys, is she can use the kid as a buffer between six, all right? So, you know, a lot of times, and this happens even if the woman, you want to come over to the woman's house, all right? Women are used things like this as a buffer to prevent sex from happening, all right? You know, not only sex, any kind of intimacy, all right? So this kind of lets you know sometimes where she sees you as intimacy, all right? So like if she want to go on a date, but she don't want you touching her, or she don't want you trying to kiss her, or no shit like that, Obviously, ain't no goddamn sane man or logical thinking man that's gonna be trying to push up on somebody, a kid's mama, why the kid is right fucking there. All right, that's that's uh, human decency, right? I'm not finna be trying to hit all up on and rub on the girl thighs and ass why the fucking kid is there. All right, so this is a buffer between sex. Also, guys, hey, I can't go back to your place. You can't come back to my place because hey, I got my kid. So let's just call it a night. So sometimes, guys, this can be a buffer between sex or intimacy it ain't always gotta be sex it'd be just intimacy intimacy means keep your fucking hands off me all right so she can use it as that knowing that you're not gonna try to touch her with the fucking kid around or if you do that's hypothetical say you don't give a fuck about the kid be there and you still try to touch her and make moves and shit like that shit uh-uh not with my kid here so she can use that to keep you from making your advances all right guys and the next reason and this is a pretty popular one too to get you ready to be that stepdad, baby. All right, she's probably looking for a beta male provider. I remember, like, when I was 22, I went over a girl how she didn't have a babysitter, as she claimed. And I remember sitting there throwing a damn football in the, with the boy in the living room for goddamn about an hour. My goddamn arm was so I had to go home and put some damn ice on my shoulder. I was throwing football with that damn boy so goddamn long. While she was in the kitchen cooking dinner and shit, my ass sitting in the damn living room throwing a football with her damn boy for a goddamn hour. Obviously, I don't want to tell him to stop. And the, the bitch, she ain't gonna tell him to stop. She ain't gonna be like, boy, you know, leave that man alone and then like that. And I was like, I don't wanna be rude. So here my ass is playing touch and go with the damn football for a whole goddamn hour until I finally said, okay, that's enough. Because she would have let it went on all fucking night, guys. 
So this is the thing, guys. What she was trying to do was she was trying to groove me ready to be a stepdad. This was our first date. I met her at the club. This was our first date. I came over the house. We sitting up throwing football in the fucking living room for an hour. So obviously, she's looking for a beta male provider. Or I don't, I don't even know if a beta male provider, she's looking for a father figure in her child life. And about, you know, three or four days later, I was like, I hit her up and like, hey, can I come over tonight? This, that, and other, and lay in the bed with you. And she was like, Oh, yeah, you can come. My son going to be in the bed with us, too, though. He, he's sleeping in the bed with me. All right? So here's the thing, guys. When you run into a situation like this, it can either be a shit test, a buffer between sex, or she trying to groom you to be a fucking stepdad. All right? The thing with this guy is, under no circumstances do you ever fucking go on a date with a girl with a fucking kid. Ever. All right? Say no. Even if it means her losing interest. Now, I'm going to tell you why. Because... You in a no-win situation if you go on a date with this woman, all right? First of all, if she go on a date, she, the little respect she did have for you, she's going to lose because you ain't standing up for yourself, all right? Second, if she's taking you on a date, she could be just trying to use the kid as a buffer, so that means that she's probably not even really physically attracted to you. She's just killing time. She's just fucking passing time. So she probably don't even want you. You just something to do to pass her over to whatever dude she fucking with. They probably on a little break. So she's just using you for your non-sexual attention, all right? So here's the thing with that, guys. Never go out on a date with a woman with a fucking kid under no circumstances. If she lose interest, she lose interest, all right? The worst thing can happen is you never see the bitch again, but who gives a fuck? At least you're not a beta male simp, all right? And I had another guy on another question he asked me was, he wanted to know, he used to have a lot of success with women. Then he started feeling himself. He did the self-improvement. He started dressing better. And then he said the girls would come over, but nothing would happen. Well, I'll tell you why nothing would happen. You ain't make no fucking moves. All right, here's the thing, guys. I don't give a fuck how cool you think you is or how much money you think you're making or how good you done got your body in, guys. Guys, we have to always initiate sex, all right? Some of you guys are on the self-improvement and you making more motherfucking money and you think just because you looking good and you got it going on now that women are supposed to start jumping on your dicks. This shit ain't happening, guys. All right, this shit ain't happening. I drive a nice car, I got a nice apartment, I dress nice. Ain't no fucking girls coming in here jumping on my fucking dick. I still have to make the fucking moves, all right? Even women who have high interest, I still have to make the fucking move, all right? So what happened is he got a sense of fucking entitlement, all right? He got to feeling himself, he started dressing good, he started getting choosing signals, and all of a sudden he thought like, I don't have to be the man and initiate contact. Guys, if, when you invite women over your house, I don't give a fuck if you stay in a condo in Miami worth $20 million, all right? You still gonna have to initiate the sex, all right? And I'm gonna tell you right now, man, no matter how good you feel about yourself and shit like this right here, women are still gonna stop you advance. They still gonna do this, y'all, unless y'all already, you know, fucking, but he talking about women he wanna even fucking. You still gotta initiate shit, all right? Now, obviously women you already fucking ain't gonna stop your advances and shit like that, but if you ain't never fucked this girl, it don't matter what you dress like and shit like that. You still have to initiate. That's the only downside I see with self-improvement. Guys start feeling themselves too much, and they think that they still ain't got to pursue the woman. We ain't chasing nobody, guys, but we still have to pursue the women. I don't give a fuck if you go get a Bugatti, all right? I don't give a fuck if you get a $20 million mansion and you start wearing Versace tailor-made suits. It don't fucking matter, guys. We still got to do the pursuing, and we still got to initiate the sex, all right? That's just the bottom fucking line. Now, we don't chase nobody, and we ain't finna be begging no girl for no goddamn sex. We do everything in a masculine frame. We chase like men that are on our purpose. I mean, we pursue women like we on our purpose. We ain't blowing nobody fucking phone up, and we ain't returning no fucking texts and calls in five fucking minutes. But at the end of the day, all this shit still falls on a man. We still have to initiate every fucking thing, all right? Guys... If you bring a woman over to your house, you got to make the fucking move, all right? And she going to stop you. If you don't understand what I'm saying, go watch my video where I explain how to pursue and, and uh, initiate sex and shit like that. Go watch my videos. by 20 videos back. Go watch that shit again. It's still going to be this little cat and mouse game, even with a woman with high interest. Because at, at the end of the day, guys, women still want us to respect them. They still uh, want us to think that they're some little angels. See, that's the thing, guys. If you guys are over here watching these videos, y'all pretty much get, you know, female nature. Y'all pretty much get it. But women are still want guys to be that are naive and think that they're little angels. They wouldn't hurt a fly. 
see, women want us to, they, they like to carry this persona that I'm an innocent little angel, all right? So you still have to make all the fucking moves. That's just the bottom fucking line, guys. Sex still has to be on the man. I just came to watch TV and I was seduced. I'm so confused. That's how women are, guys. Hey, that's how they, that girl, when she left, woke up that morning, she knew she was going to fuck you when she went on the crib as long as you did everything right. All right, you ain't never seduced a woman, guys. I'm sorry. Ain't no woman ever came over to your fucking house and you fuck and you feel like, oh, man, I put the moves on her. You ain't put no fucking moves on her. That girl knew that morning she was going to give you that ass. All right? You just had to not talk your way out of it, guys. All right? So here's the thing, guys. I know all of us are on our self-improvement and all this, that, and the other, and that's good and dandy. But at the end of the day, guys, we still got to pursue women and we still got to make the sex happen when they're over our house. It don't matter what we look like. It don't matter what you drive. It don't matter where you live. That never ends, all right? And uh, back to this uh, kid thing, guys. Never, under no circumstances, let a woman bring not only a kid, nobody to the date, all right? The first and form, uh, foremost move, but this is, this is a shit test. A guy who just happened to be on a date, a woman can find out your sexual market value real quick if you let her bring a kid or her friend on a fucking date. You won't stand up for yourself. You that desperate for a fucking date. You, you relegate yourself to let me bring my fucking kid on a date. How desperate for a date are you? All right. Even if that wasn't even even if it wasn't a shit test to her, she got to be thinking in her head like say she saw you as a nine and you did some shit like that. It's probably a six or a seven right now. Her interest level. All right. She probably uh, deep down. Guys, it goes. Listen, guys, we all have made women do things that we lost respect for them after they did. All right. I know I, I lose respect for a woman every time she licked my ass. All right. It, women do shit too that they ask you to do and then when you do it they lose respect for you I, I always lose respect for a woman when she lick my ass i appreciate it but i lose respect for her did the same thing with a woman you lose respect for her all right if a woman is blowing up your phone and shit like that you like it that she got such high interest but you lose respect for her all right and it's the same thing with them guys when they act when when, when you just accept dates and you just happen to have a fucking date they lose respect for you all right, so never under no circumstances do that. All right, guys, I hope y'all got that, man. Like the video, comment down below what y'all want to see next. Live stream tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And, guys, y'all can call and ask me more than about women. You know, I, I got a lot of knowledge on a lot of things. All right, so if it's something I don't know about, I'll tell you. I don't, I don't know much about that, but I got a good grasp on a lot of things. So call it. Make sure you check in the live stream tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern time. I want all the sleeves balls in that bitch. And I want more courses than about women. Uh, let's let's broaden it up a little bit. Let's talk about a lot of things. Let's liven it up a little bit. All right, 7 p.m. Eastern time, sleaze balls in effect. Holla back. And comment down below what other videos y'all want me to make.